Hey there everyone, welcome back. We are doing 30 days of radical acceptance and we're on day seven today. Um, I have been using the manual for teachers in the Course in Miracles. We are uh, recently having completed the 365 lessons. We turn the page into the next section, which talks about teachers of God. And so what we're looking at in the first 30 days here uh, of the year 2023, but it's wonderful that you're watching it whenever you're watching it, is this is a way for us to really get present in ourselves, in our lives, looking around, taking an honest inventory of what we see and what we would like to change, what we want the reset version of ourselves to feel like. So in today's lesson, we're gonna focus on generosity. So it is uh, characteristic number seven in the section of the characteristics of God's teachers portion of the manual for teachers. Okay, a lot of words there. So the theme for this lesson is I am generous. I am generous. And Jesus' definition of generosity, the Holy Spirit's definition of generosity, is seemingly different to what the world sees as generosity. So I'm just gonna read a couple lines here and we'll just take a quick moment to think through that and you get to have your experience of generosity today. So to the world, generosity means giving away in the sense of giving up. To the teachers of God, it means giving away in order to keep. And then it goes on to say, therefore, he does not ask the teacher of God what only he could keep because it is a guarantee of loss. He does not want to suffer. So in this wakened state, in this reality, we have this sort of transactional society. We have a transactional definition of, of giving. So coming from a place of using the Christed mind, the Holy Spirit's thought system, when we talk about generosity, it isn't giving from any place of having an expectation of a return or a manipulation of anything. We, I think it's really important for us to look at when we are giving, what is really behind that? Um, are we seeking validation? Are we looking for belongingness or acceptance? Is there something on the back end, even if it seems like a positive outcome or a loving thing, is the, the object of the giving subjected to that outcome? And, and this is really important. And this is really us being completely honest with ourselves when we do offer anything to a person, be it a material thing, our time, some kind of an object, a material object. Um, we give a lot of things. And so when you're truly generous, they call it, uh, it's capital self-interest. You're giving out of self, higher self-interest, which is about for the sake of sharing your heart with another person's heart. There's a loop, an infinite loop that exists between two people. So it isn't a transactional giving. It isn't seeking anything on the other side. Now, what I also want to say is forgive yourself. If you find that your giving, there is a pattern of transactional, like you have an expectation or you're planting a seed, you know, for, for something that your small self wants. Forgiveness all day long, all day long. It's okay. But just when you notice that you're doing that, you have a chance to say, ah, look, look how I'm confusing generosity, the definition of generosity. I'm confusing my really buried ego desire for something in return. And it is okay because that's what the world teaches. And we've been subjected to a lot of indoctrination and, you know, uh, even just coming out of the Christmas season, for heaven's sakes, you know, generosity <laughs> is definitely bastardized and inverted. So forgive yourself completely and fully. Allow that to process through. Allow those feelings to be let go of. And when we start out in this 30 days of radical acceptance, when you now declare, I am generous, 
the generosity is coming from the giving space of the higher self, the, the greater you, opening your heart, deciding because you've been guided by spirit to be with a person, to give something to a person, to even have a, a generous idea. The source of it is not the ego. So when you're in your higher self level of generosity, it feels different. You know, there is no sense of wanting something on the back end, which probably produces unconscious feelings of guilt and shame and things that we have to carry around then. So make a commitment today as we take an honest inventory of what our generosity is, particularly right after the holidays, make a commitment to yourself. I am generous and my generosity is going to come from my higher self, my connection with God, my relationship with the Holy Spirit, my understanding of the universe and how everything is working out in this beautiful flow, this constant stream of joy that we're living in. That is what we can do today as we continue to integrate these concepts into our lives to make this year the best year ever. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow.